crew. The word has many definitions according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. However, we are going to focus on this one definition from a DJ's perspective. A group of people associated together in a common activity or by common traits or interests. What do you think about when you hear the word crew? What comes to mind? Crew is like a brotherhood. Pretty much family. Trust. A group of people that you represent, that represents you. Volt, 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 Voltron. Voltron is crew. Energy. Friend. Z. What an S. <laughs> crew is, you got a group of dudes with no job, just hanging out, drinking beer, and pretty much just killing time. time, time. So me and Shortcut came down to LA in 90, 1993, and this is when me and him were really hardcore into battling. Uh, it was the, the Los Angeles, the West Coast DMC battle, and um, that's where we met Ratmatic uh, and DJ Curse. And um, so we just kept in touch with them, and they, they asked us if we wanted to, to, to be, be a part of the Beat Junkies and rep in Northern Cali. And, um, and you know, th this was before Shortcut joined the, the Scratch Pickles, and before I joined the Scratch Pickles, we, we were the bee junkies. And, um, you know, we were just friends, man. We would just call each other on the phone, talk about, can, can you do this scratch? And how do you do this? And juggles and talk about records. And then, um, you know, they would invite us out for, for parties in LA and we would DJ. And they would come up to the Bay and they would, they would be a guest at like one of our parties. So, you know what I mean? It was, it was really more like we were friends and, and they, they like took us under their wing. We didn't realize how big of an impact they had in, in LA since we were from the Bay. You know, we weren't really out here that much. And, um, you know, it, 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 it just grew. Like we, we learned so much from them and, and they learned from us. My role on the Bee Junkies, I guess, I think when we're making routines, sometimes I'm, I'm kind of the, the, I guess I could be the conductor at times. Um, sometimes I'm one of the soloists. Uh, but you know, everyone brings ideas to the table. I'm, I'm always constantly working on music and, and working on songs. So if, if we need something like, oh man, we need a three minute something something, uh, I usually have something already on deck. And if, if the guys like it, you know, I'm, I'm down to, to, to perform it live. Um, but I, I do help out with like the day-to-day -day of business as well, like uh, with the record pool. Um, we, we, we have a record pool for DJs that provides like DJ edits. Um, so I, I also help out with that. Um, and just, you know, just reaching out to other DJs, um, helping out with the social media, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook like all that stuff. The advantages of being in a crew, I mean, you could, you know, you got so many other personalities and so, so much, so much um, inspiration to grab from, you know? Like, if I need help with making a beat, you know, I can, I can reach out to Babu, I could reach out to J-Rock and ask them tips on, on Ableton or how to mix down, or, you know, if I need help on, on, on um, making a song and I need someone to cut on, I can hit up Shortcut or I can hit up Melody, you know what I mean? There's, there's, there's so many different resources, man. And, and also on the, on, on the tip of, of pushing yourself, like I believe if you surround yourself with, with, you know, 
inspiring people, people who are, are better than you, people are, who are creating, it's going to force you to, to step up your, your level and your, your game as well, you know. Um, tension in the crew, I mean there's always tension in, in any group dynamics, you know, especially when, when we're making music in the studio, rehearsing, and someone feels like, oh, it needs to be done like this, do it this way, and, and, uh, or throw it in here, or keep this at eight bars. Um, and you know, it, it's, it's one of those things where you just have to compromise, man. It's, it's, it's at the end, of the end of the day, the result is good music, and, and that's all really what we're aiming for, you know what I mean? And, and sometimes you just, you get tired, restless, thirsty, hungry, and, and grumpiness comes out, and that's just the way it is, man, in, in any workplace. And, and um, you know, you just have to be grateful that we can, we can make music and, and perform it live, like, you know what I mean? I mean, it's all give and take, you know? It, it's like any relationship, you, you have to compromise, man. And, and if there's someone who can do a part better, then so be it. It's for the great, the greater of music, you know what I mean? It, it's, if it's gonna sound better. I don't, I don't mind being a simple head note guy or a simple head note or, or a simple high note tambourines shaker guy. Um, if someone can do the part better um, and the music sounds fuller and it sounds better, then I'm all for it, man. You know, I, I think really you gotta let, let your ego go. You know I mean? You can't, you, not, not everyone can be the, the, the main spotlight for everything, you know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta play the back and, and be the, the crash guy, you know what I mean? A little cowbell. <laughs> I don't mind being that guy, shit. Sure. Bye. 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 Bye.